Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy Turson. I am the Legislative Advocacy Manager for Riverkeeper and I am joined today by Senator Jen Metzger, who is the Agricultural Chair of the New York State Senate and represents District 42, which covers the Catskills and Hudson Valley. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Jeremy. It's Happy been, Earth Day. <laughs> thank you. It's been 50 years since the first Earth Day when people came together to fight for a healthier planet. Now more than ever, people are relying on the natural world as a source of calm and help. Can you explain what Earth Day means to you? Sure. Um, what Earth Day means to me is really, is the community coming together to reflect upon how important it is to protect the resources that we all depend upon and to reflect on the kinds of changes we can make in our own daily lives to reduce our carbon footprint, to reduce our environmental impact. Um, you know, in the state Senate and the state legislature, we can pass all kinds of laws, but it's really about what we each, what each of us does at the individual level. Every decision we make throughout the day collectively has an enormous impact. So I challenge myself and would challenge everyone who's listening and watching today to think about one action one behavior in their lives that they can change that would reduce their environmental and carbon footprint. Um, I could make some suggestions. For instance, as agriculture chair, I would suggest renewing your commitment to buying local and supporting your local farms and reducing those transport miles that, that contribute to climate change. Uh, there is taking a bus or riding your bike instead of driving to work. There are, are lots, lots, lots of different changes we can make in our lives, but it's a good, Earth Day is a perfect opportunity to renew your commitment. Yeah, and since you're the agricultural chair and you're challenging us to try something, I brought along some uh, cucumbers and peppers I'm planting in a uh, egg carton that I'm gonna grow in my garden so I don't have to, bring food that has possibly traveled from a far distance contributing to climate change, uh, I can put local food on my plate. That is excellent. And you don't even need a lot of land to have your own garden. You could do it in pots and containers on your front stoop if you live in town. But that's a great, great start, Jeremy. You've been an environmental champion for years. What environmental policy are you most proud of or excited about accomplishing uh, and what are you excited about doing in the near future? So uh, I would say without a doubt, the biggest accomplishment uh, that um, I am most proud of uh, is the passage of the Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act last year in New York State. Um, I have been uh, fighting for action to address climate change for too many years now. Uh, and it was uh, just the most, it, it was the most exhilarating moment to pass what is absolutely uh, the strongest climate change legislation in the country. And at a time when we're going backwards in so many ways at the federal level, New York has really stepped up and is leading the way. Now that was uh, just the beginning, certainly not the end. And uh, I am looking forward to what well, I want to point out that we just in the budget this past month uh, passed uh, um, uh, legislation that permanently bans fracking in statute, which is a huge achievement. Uh, and I look forward to us passing legislation I've introduced, the Freedom from Fossil Fuels Act, to prohibit all new fossil fuel infrastructure in New York State. Uh, there's a lot we can do. We have to really make that full 100% commitment to get off of fossil fuels um, and invest in, in those clean energy resources that are going to create thousands of good jobs in New York State and give us real energy independence. Thank you so much for joining us and helping us commemorate this 50th anniversary of Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. <laughs>